some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Schenectady, New York with Danny from New York State Audit, where he is trying to harass the district attorney that is prosecuting his case. You know, Danny boy, you are not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? I mean, assuming if the judge actually sees your video, uh, your case could get so much worse for you. It would be about this time I'd give my usual sit back, relax, and all that other garbage. But in this case, why don't you just tense up and scream all you want at this idiot the moment he starts talking to the district attorney. So, enjoy that part at least. Get wrongfully convicted or what? Yeah. DA's getting sued for the uh, boss of Peter Willis, you work for the DA, right? DA's office? Hey, back up. I'm just walking. Back up. I'm walking. I can walk too. Okay. I can hey, walk hey, too, hey. right? I'm walking this way. All right, so don't bump into me. Don't put your sure, I'm don't walking. Bump into me. All right, I'm so back walking. up. Hey, whoa. I'm creating space. I'm creating space, man. So, sir. So listen. I'm going to ask I have a you. question. I'm trying to go this oh, way. Oh, feel free. Thank you. Feel free. So how could one person be convicted and the other one be acquitted? How do you feel about Christopher Cowell? Lying on the stand against me, having me convicted, convicted, but the other citizen was not convicted, huh? Because of the recording I provided. How'd that work out? Aren't you the appellate? You work for the appellate? Because I filed an appeal for this. You know what I mean? You can keep walking in front of me all you want. Yeah, you're walking in front of me on purpose. So. Oh, Danny boy. You were not exactly gifted with intelligence, were you? In fact, I do believe when they were passing out the brains, you heard trains, so you stepped out of the line. Now you are suffering with the delusion that you are one of the smartest people on the planet. But now look at you. You are doing something that a lot of people have tried in the past, and it won them prison time. You don't like that you're being exposed, huh? I'm you don't walking. like it? I'm you don't walking. like the tyranny's being exposed? You don't like that? Come on, I'm working on a story. Give me something. Just Give me walking. something. Give me something to work with. How can I be convicted but she's proven innocent? How's that work? So that means I get to I get to be free then now, right? Let me go grab some water. All right, man. A little longer than a few minutes later. So here he comes. Awesome. You got your food. Excellent. So let's continue this conversation. How, what's going to happen um, uh, to my conviction since she was proven innocent and I was convicted based off so you false know, testimony? Listen, just so you know, How's that work? Just so you know. How's that if work? you're a defendant, I can't talk to you. I'm my own lawyer too. Well, see I, how that I works? will not talk to you unless you're in court. <laughs> you see how that works too? Danny boy. I can see your elevator doesn't exactly go to the top floor because I guess you are totally unaware of the conflict of interest this poses to your case. Just by talking to this, uh, this attorney outside of a courtroom. I mean, you don't have to have gone to law school to understand that this is incredibly stupid of you. You are putting yourself into a great deal of legal troubles with this. All right, so no matter what, you're going to have to talk to me. Representing yourself in a court of law is not exactly the best idea you can come up with. In fact, there's an old saying out there that says, a man that represents himself has a fool for a client. And you know, that's especially true when you have experienced prosecutors like this guy who would tear you apart in a legal battle. So, see, you contradicted and put your own foot in your mouth, buddy. And he ain't touching you, but you touch Nah, don't worry him. about that. He's a clown that he tried to get away with something and bump into me. He thought I was gonna back down. They got, they got a, a bunch of feels good. <laughs> and you're the appellate guy, right? I'm gonna make sure all your information is in the description too because it's public information. Yep. You guys know about my channel. How come you didn't check out the video first? 
You know I disseminate everything. Oh, let's talk about uh, the unlawful denial of my FOIA request oh, let's talk about the as well. You are just digging your grave deeper and deeper, aren't you? And especially with video recording this, so it's forever on the internet, you are a brainless buffoon. You know, I would not be a bit surprised if sometime in the near future we saw charges pressed against this idiot for everything he's doing here, including trying to intimidate an officer of the court. But hey, it's his grave. Let him dig it. Took us both to uh, the police station in City Hall. Let's talk about the false imprisonment. You're not even going to wait, right? You're just going to cross it legally? I'll do it with you. Why not? Right? Because you can do whatever you want. <laughs> right? Because you can do whatever you want, right? Damn, you crazy. Well, let me get a good shot of you, though. Let me get a good shot. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can walk fast. You can't. You gonna try to run through me? <laughs> oh man, this is this is awesome. You know, everything happens for a reason. You know that, right? Everything happens for a reason. It was man. Don't push me into the building. I'm walking to my office, sir. Don't push me into the building. I'm walking to my office. Come on. Be classy. You know, people, thousands of people are going to see this. Yeah, thousands of people will see this, including lawyers, judges, other district attorneys. Yeah, you're going to look real good right here. Oh, yeah, you are going to look real good. Definitely. When they fit you for that orange jumpsuit, you get out of this. Sidewalk, buddy. So this is, oh, what's your, your uh, counsel to the DA? Right? Peter Willis, counsel to the DA. Oh, related to <laughs> uh, no, his name is Willis. Yeah, yeah. different person. So, you want to give me any more information about the FOIA request that you denied? I'm in this I'm 42. And I got the better angle. Remember how you told me? Let's get some more shots. Gotta get some more shots. Gotta get some more shots. Whoo! You making me work, Peter Willis. You gotta go over here, right? Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Oh, that's what you're working with? Technically, if there's no parking, no standing anytime, it does say no trespass. I know. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Well now, there you have it. That is a real stupid individual right there. But hey, no one said you had to be smart to be a frauditor. But hell, even this takes the stupid level of frauditing to a whole new level.